I need to get you hooked on Evo, so so you'll be like, oh, I want to cast Evo games all the time. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah. Uh, it's there's. Oh, your mini map doesn't have aspect ratio. No. Oh, it does no aspect ratio map? It does have that. Oh, you're you are looking at the loading screen. Yeah, apparent. That's a JK thing. Keep in mind, this Lua loading crap is still pretty new, and most of it comes... No, from... not the Lua loading in-game, the oh. mini-map. Don't worry about it. it. It has a feature I expected. Oh, okay. Because there's, in... In... Well, the mini-map, the chili mini-map, from about a few months ago, has a setup where it does give you... What was it? Oh, yeah, you can have it so the aspect ratio is based on the window rather than the map itself. Oh. So if the map changes aspect ratio, it doesn't change... The size is just one of the map minimap options. Just space click the minimap, and it'll pop up. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Mine's already set on that. No, yeah. Okay, cool. I didn't know about that. The it actually kind of stinks because I I uh, I don't really like reusing stuff from ZK, but it becomes mm. a necessary evil, and so like. It's just kind of frustrating because I can't update stuff all that often, like GUI related stuff, because half the time ZK changes stuff, which breaks other widgets, and they like to hard code everything. It drives me crazy. I don't under. What do you mean? Well, like settings and stuff, and values and whatnot. So basically, you, as the developer, you have it set up however you want. But if you do any updating, then you lose it all. So it's yeah. Really? Because I, I thought it was most. I found it mostly very configurable, almost too much, in fact. Uh. At the point that I was finding, why are there so many options for everything? Well, like look but, at the build menu. For that, I have to do a lot of size changes and stuff. And that's basically because okay. The biggest thing for newbies that I that I know of is the fact that they always have trouble. Um. Seeing what stuff, buttons. seeing what, uh, you know, I mean, you can see unit icons if you're used to them, it's not a big deal. But if you're not. Actually, I never use unit icons, honestly. Yeah. I, which is actually a little bit difficult with for Evo just because of how small the units tend to be. Like, zero K, I don't have a problem. I have the outlines on and I have. Outline and X ratio allows me to easily see the units, see the silhouette of the unit, so it's very easy, even zoomed out, to tell what units are. Hmm. But I really don't use icons all that much. Oh, well, I meant build picks, sorry. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm, uh... What? Oh, someone's trying to join with the wrong spring version. Wait, really? Did you really put up two turrets up here? What in the world? Well, yeah... Is that bad? No, no, that's just surprising because it... Crap. I am a 0k player after all. Ah, oh, crap. Building a couple building a couple light turrets just to defend a weak flank, especially since there's no commander that actually has damaging attacks, is generally considered a good idea. <laughs> oh, crap. What? Oh. Your recluses aren't working out? Ah, oh, crap. Crap. No, I came over the hill right into the arms of a bunch of kites. Ah, oh, that yep. sucks, dude. My kites. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's. Say hello to my little kites. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. You know. Oh, shoot. I suppose the biggest thing about Evo is the fact that it's meant to be designed in such a way that newbies can play it without. Uh. Okay, you know the emotional investment that goes into playing StarCraft 2? Yes. Yeah, okay. Evo is designed not to really have that. I mean, yeah, you can, but... Good luck with that. <laughs> well, see, the games are short enough to the point to where it's not... It's not such a big deal to lose. I mean, yeah, well, it's nice to win, but... I don't know. I don't know. I think that it really just comes down to the players, because... I mean... Even 0K has 10 minute games, usually 10 to 15 minute games, and that can get really intense. It's just, it's an intense game. This game is also pretty intense. Yeah. 
Yeah, between good players, uh, uh, Evo gets uh, <laughs> Evo gets a little. Uh... Jeez. Ah oh, man, Anarchid. Why you no protect your flank? Okay, it's time to crank up the heat a little bit. Oh, darn it. I forgot the supply in this game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that saves it to the... Holy crap, Icons. Did you make enough? Jesus. Oh, thanks, Icons. <laughs> Cover for me. Say hello to my little friends. Christ. It would be nice if you'd die, though. Please. Thank you. Yeah, Anarchid isn't very good about covering his flanks. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, why? Ah! No, 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 no. I didn't want to build that. Wow. He's got dim drones. Yeah, typically. He does. And I have anti air. Although the anti air's dead. Crap! Why am I not. Oh, darn, I forgot to auto hockey some of these things. There we go. Oh, right, and auto hockey is an immediate. Ah, I need. That needs to be configurable. Cause that what does? It's normally there. The auto hockey. The immediate mode for auto hockey, where just as soon as the unit. As soon as you either hit the auto hockey for something, or you just add. The unit is created, it's automatically added to the hockey group. Oh. Um. Uh. I don't actually know how to configure that widget. I just added it. Oh, the latest one has that, I'm just saying. Oh. I just don't know where the settings are. Actually, I don't know where the settings are at all for that widget. Neither That's do the I. Weird part. Um. Crap. Oh, darn it, my workers are dead. Do, do, do. Okay, so. Hey, Icons, have you noticed that ever since I added supply, running out of energy is less of a, uh, less of a thing? Oh, now, now we're running out of supply is a thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, supply is really unfamiliar from a zero K, or from a total annihilation perspective. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Stupid spaz. Hey, you made the units. <laughs> God! Okay, cloak time. Yeah, how do you like me now? You can't see me. Wait, how does decloaking work in this? Uh, brush up against it. Okay, that's what I thought. And also, you can see there's little uh, dust clouds that come up when uh, the all terrains are moving, so you can tell where they are even if you don't have sensors. Yeah. Sensors are more convenient, but the uh, dust cloud is the less scientific, but Easily workable method. Jesus, dim drones. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. So I need. What do I need? Oh, you know what? Let's try out my new anvil. Oh, crap. What? No, that's not what I want. I want this. Yes. Jeez. Don't even know how to work my own game. That's embarrassing. Okay then. Hmm. We should have a cis building. That would actually probably be a good idea. Oh, good god. Anarchid's doing pretty good with his with his amphibs there. Wow, I have no intuition on how much damage I can expect to deal in an area. Um, hmm. well, okay, the best units for synergy stuff like that would be kites, crushers, and droplets, because together they basically cover all the ranges, 
the kite. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay, actually, I am waiting for something. No, 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 make... I said make anvils. Why you no know make anvils? I better have enough supply. Uh. Hey, there! It made an anvil. Yay! Finally. Okay, now we're gonna see exactly how overpowered this thing may or may not be. Hopefully not very. Christ. It's not on my side. Honestly, I would say that... Drones! Drones! Drones everywhere. And they're mine! Ah, oh, Jesus. I like drones. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna let you have that mechs, but my army is bigger, so keep that in mind. Wait, is that... Oh, that's Anarchist mechs. Holy crap, why am I losing? Defense turret, probably. Oh, man. I set up a couple. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that's another thing. By the way, build a Kmar next to that defense turret. That's probably gonna make us lose the entire freaking game. I wouldn't be surprised, but... Just FYI, put up a cape next to it. Oh, come on, come on. Thank you. Draw a brick. No. Oh, where's my anvil? Yeah, you know what? Say hello to my slightly bigger friend. This guy should chap your ass. Now we're going to see exactly how good you are. Oh, right, those things are all terrain. This might be problematic. Die! Holy crap, it's still dying fast. Got rid of the turret, though. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, and it can't be EMP'd. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, it can be, but it's it's got 4,000 health by default, so it's... Yeah, it's beefy. Wow, you know, I honestly expected that to be overpowered. I'm somewhat annoyed. Well, I do have a lot isn't. of drones. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Oh, hey, Icons, did you uh, notice that... Well, you probably didn't have a chance to, but I made the stance of the anti-air all-terrain guy a bit less awkward. Jesus Christ, did you just put up another one? Yeah. God. Ugh. Okay, you know what? Time to use OP all terrains. Or just air. Crap. Oh, that I'm works not prepared too. for that one. All terrains are actually pretty good versus turrets because you can cloak them and then, you know. Yeah, I'm done. Well, my overseer's dead. I'm not I'm not out yet. I'm still in the game. You can rebuild but the overseer's them. dead. What? The all terrain factory oh, can yeah. rebuild them. But they're real expensive. Oh, yeah, that's right. That said... Ah! Oh, you're already prepped for anti-air, aren't you? Well, I'll just use it for raiding purposes. Then. Oh, no! Poor icons! Oh. oh, wait, that's a flak turret, isn't it? Wow, he actually made one? A few. Not in the right spots, though. Be still, my heart. He's notoriously bad about protecting his flanks. Oh, right. I need to have energy for not running out of supply. Oh. Okay. Wait, where's your base? The hell? <laughs> I figured you'd go that way. If the mountain doesn't come to Muhammad, Muhammad will go to the mountain. <laughs> I figured Something if I like built that. my base in a different spot, it would buy me a little bit of extra time. Yeah. Actually, that's kind of a hard position to defend back there. Really? I guess maybe. Well, look at how much oh, yeah. trouble oh, Anarchy shoot, you're right, because the fact that we have all terrain units... Crap, I did not consider that. <laughs> I failed to think that through. <laughs> well... I guess I figured I'd just mind game you out with that, but I didn't have enough units at the time, and yeah... Shoot, well... That's me, I guess. Actually, what I would have done is put it just a little further south. 
because in that way you'd have the terrain advantage wouldn't really help me much. Yeah, that's that was dumb. Why did I put it there? Oh crap! Oh, well. Holy sledge! Jesus, he I has can, so to the, many <laughs> to the rescue. Too late, but hey, it's something. God, you have so many sledge, dude. Well, I guess you can try to do what little I can do. I'm taking it that we don't have communism on in this game. Yeah, actually, you do. You're, uh... Oh! Only on... Is actually helping out. Yes, only on, uh... Yeah, by staying in the game, even with one unit, you actually help him, because that one metal switch goes over to him. So, yeah, just by existing, you get, uh... One, one metal and, uh... 0.5... Or, I'm sorry, 0.5 metal and one energy. And simply by existing, that overflows to to Iken, so... Holy crap, speaking of uh, getting raided and not paying attention to your own base... Thankfully my units aren't completely useless. Out of position. Mm -hmm. Ah, darn. Okay. I figured I'd do what I can. Something. I'm not dead yet. Oh, Iken's is dead. Crap. Wait. I think. Why is Anarchid bombing me? <laughs> I don't think he realizes he is. <laughs> well, that's game, I think. Yeah, that's game. Again. Good game. Wow. Anarchid's pretty scary. Hey, let's, uh, s let's switch up the teams. Give me icons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's see.